Today, I would like to uh, introduce my new uh, method. I say uh, share or present, but I need, I need to say I want to promote my new method. So this one is my new method. So I created uh, two years ago. So today I'll share, I'll present, I'll uh, promote this new method. So hopefully everybody can use my new method in your research, okay? <clears throat> so new method is fuzzy in complete linguistic preface relations. I abbreviate it as fuzzy in the pre uh, This is my English name and Chinese name. Uh, I get the MBA degree from the uh, National General University in Taiwan and PhD degree in the UK. Um, I was the lecture associate professor and professor and the board trustee member at Esau University in Taiwan and Dean of Management uh, College at KUAS. But now KUS combined uh, combine another two campus, uh, two universities become a new big uh, university. Its name is NKUST. Uh, my current position is this one, and this one independent director, listed technology company. And today I will share the this contents. So if we want to understand fuzzy in the Prila, before that we need to understand HP, fuzzy HP, and etc. So this one, first one, fuzzy touches I created before. And the second, fuzzy the Prila. So this one I published published the paper in the information sciences. And third is fuzzy vehicle and fourth fuzzy promise. And the five in the umbrella incomplete linguistic preference relations. I say in the umbrella. So suppose you use uh, this keyword fuzzy in Fuzzy Dimprida, Fuzzy Vika, Fuzzy Promisi, and in Dimprida. And the new one is Fuzzy in Dimprida. If you use these keywords, you can search my paper by means of internet or academic database. On publications, uh, this one Chinese, and this one is stock technical analysis. I always uh, promote the <clears throat> uh, objective objective method to analysis the stock uh, market and the fund market. Otherwise, the investment investor they will lose their money. Uh, this is my resume. And here I would like to emphasize if uh, last night for this presentation, I log in the Google, uh, scholargoogle.com. Uh, I search my English name and then I get the numbers. For example, the first one, this paper cited more than 1,000 times. 
and the second sighted uh, around eight, seven, six times. And such as this one, Fuzzy Vicker, uh, sighted uh, four, nine, eight times. And this journal, International Journal of Production Economics, this is top one in this area. And this one is the application by my method and published in the uh, journal Information Sciences. And this one, the new one, new method, I published in the Information Sciences. And so if you use my English name and in the scroll, scroll the Google, you can find my uh, papers. And this one is the uh, 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 stock uh, technical analysis. So all of them, I always present by uh, mathematics, mathematics equations. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this one is third generation. I uh, fuzzy preference relations. It uh, created by Shirida in uh, 2004. They published this paper in the European Journal of Operational Research. Uh, so I say this is the third generation, but Shirida, they use fuzzy in their method, but this method uh, doesn't contain fuzzy concept in this method. But I don't know why Syria use fuzzy word in their method. So fuzzy preference relations, we, you cannot find the fuzzy concept in this method. So, uh, if you want to use HP, I suggest you can use fuzzy preference relations. So in this method, it contains uh, three equations, only three equations, no fuzzy theory, no fuzzy concept in this method. So I always promote, I always, uh, encourage uh, researchers use fuzzy preference relations because this method uh, more easier than my method. So this uh, third generation method. And the fourth, uh, the fourth generation, I say fuzzy in the Prida. I created before. So uh, fuzzy in the Pira is fuzzy linguistic preference relations. This method contains fuzzy theory contains. So uh, if you want to use fuzzy in Pira before that, you need to understand what uh, fuzzy theory is. You need to know, okay? So I will share the paper hyperlink. Generation method. But today, uh, <clears throat> the key point is uh, introduction, introduce my method. So this fuzzy leaker. Okay, so I don't want to hyperlink fuzzy vehicle paper because uh, you cannot see the paper by means of internet. And this another one, 
fuzzy promising. So you just use this keyword and search uh, this paper or this paper from the uh, academic database. And this the another one in the Imprira, in the Imprira. Uh, this fuzzy promising, this in the Imprira. In this one, this method, it doesn't contain a fuzzy concept, fuzzy uh, theory in this method. So this method, no fuzzy concept, no fuzzy theory. So uh, you can search this method by this keyword. Yeah. So when I created a new method, I always uh, publish uh, many papers uh, around the new method uh, in the Brilla. So in the Brilla. So I publish this one in applied soft computing, this SCI journal. And before this, uh, uh, transparency. I all published in the conference. Uh, this conference. Uh, conference. And last one is this one is the uh, journal. Okay. So you can uh, search this method uh, from uh, Applied short computing. And last one, I'll introduce fuzzy in the Prida. But if I hyperlink this one, I worry you cannot uh, see the paper. But I try to, I try to, okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, this paper uh, I create uh, around, up to now, I say three years ago. And this method, I try to submit it uh, more than five journals, but they always reject it. Why? Because this method contains a lot of equations. So uh, the reviewers, the reviewers, they could not understand the equation well. So they say, okay, I, I could not understand your research. So I reject your paper. And they uh, suggest me, uh, you can submit another journal, etc. So, this method, this paper, I try more than five journals, okay? So finally, the salt computing, the journal accepted this paper. So this, this method can use, can apply in the uh, multi-criterion decision making. So this method can deal with uh, many experts, many criteria, many uh, alternatives. So many experts, many what is experts? Experts is decision maker. So this method, method can deal with uh, many uh, decision maker and many criteria and many uh, alternatives. So if you had the real case, you can use this method, okay? So before introduce my method, HP, the reviewer asked me had to 
uh, write something uh, with of the HP. So I had to put HP in this session. And then touches, the reviewer asked me had to put touches and beaker. Okay. And permissive, but my, my method is fuzzy weaker. Another method is fuzzy weaker, but this weaker is traditional method. And my method is fuzzy touches, but here is traditional touches. And this permiss permissive is traditional permissive. Mine is fuzzy permissive. And this one, just I say, this uh, third generation uh, method, Shirira, Shirira, their method is fuzzy preference relations. But this method, uh, you cannot find any fuzzy theory or fuzzy concept in this method. And this one, uh, my uh, in Imperia, my another another method in Imperia. So in this one, uh, you can find three types, three types. Uh, so this is decision matrix, decision matrix. E uh, this one E is experts expert. Expert. They are N experts or well, N decision maker. R, you can say uh, K criterion. K criterion. So this is this method, this decision uh, matrix is in the Imperial. In the Imperial. So I say there are three types. One is horizontal polarized comparison. Horizontal. What is horizontal? Suppose A1 compare A2 and A1, A1 compare A3, A1 compare A4, etc. That's horizontal. Horizontal comparison. And the second, second is vertical pairwise comparison. Why is very, very uh, vertical? Suppose you stand on the A3, authority A3, and A3 compare A1, A3 compare A2, A3 compare A3 is uh, same is zero. So this one, uh, A compare A is zero. And A3 compare A4, A3 compare AM. So this vertical comparison, uh, pairwise comparison. And the third, the third is oblique here, oblique pairwise comparison. So this decision ma uh, matrix, you just compare n minus one times. A1 compare A2, and A2 compare A3, A3 compare A4, etc. So this oblique, oblique pairwise comparison. So in this method, in the Imperial, you just use n minus one times uh, comparison. But in HP and the fuzzy HP, you need to use n multiply n minus one divided by two times. So there are many comparisons you have to do. So it will 
occur the consistency problem. That is the shortcoming about the HP and fuzzy HP. So now this one is in the umbrella. And here, the new one, fuzzy in the umbrella. So the third session from here, this new method. So new method, uh, I need, need to emphasize before session three, before that in the umbrella, it doesn't have the fuzzy concept and fuzzy uh, serial, but from the session three, fuzzy incomplete linguistic linguistic preference relations, you need to know the fuzzy concept. So here you can find the the symbol. The symbol you can find a uh, uh tiered. A symbol is tiered. The tiered it not denotes indicates fuzzy number. Tiered. And you see the this one, you cannot find no tiered. The symbol no tiered. No. But here you can find a tiered. So the tiered uh index indicates fuzzy numbers. Okay. So in this uh this method we use the I use the triangular fuzzy numbers. So there are three uh, numbers in the fuzzy numbers, three, three number, uh, left, middle, and the right, okay? So here, this equation, this equation, this equation is <clears throat> uh, integrate the whole uh, expert's weight weights, integrate the weights by this uh, equation. So this equation, W tilt, this uh, fuzzy numbers. And then uh, basic definition of fuzzy in the umbrella. Suppose S0 tiered, uh, it is the triangular membership function. So I use this equation. And S0, you can see this middle, and this is there on the right side. And this one S minus A, this one is its mirror, 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 uh, you can say image. So suppose S0 is a mirror and this, this U and this your image. So SA here and SA, uh, S mass A in here. And you say, oh, S0 is mirror, mirror. Uh, so I say mirror refreshing mirror refreshing. And there are 10 properties about this, uh, about this definition. Uh, this definition, we can write down 10 properties here. And I prove this theorem. Okay, so S A plus S minus A equals two S zero. So two S zero tilt, I say S constant, constant. Uh, there's two times of S zero. So what is S zero, this one? Okay, so because too many equations, so I need to design the 
numerical example. Otherwise, nobody knows this method. So up to now, very few people cite, very few people cite my paper because too many equations. And then here, <clears throat> uh, decision uh, matrix such as this one. So I just brush these equations. Okay. Uh, so type one, horizontal, pairwise comparison, and third, vertical pairwise Pair, uh, pairwise uh, comparison. But this, these are fuzzy numbers. So D matrix is fuzzy uh, decision matrix. And then how to uh, integrate, how to integrate. And third is oblique, oblique, okay, oblique. And then, uh, complicated, sorry. <laughs> so here, table two, we define the uh, triangular fuzzy numbers, okay. So they are nine fuzzy numbers, such as this figure. Yeah. Okay, so here, suppose after the integration, the, uh, the uh, fuzzy number beyond the boundary, beyond uh, 1.0, over over 1.0 boundary, boundary in here, and this, this one over this boundary, we had to, we had to transfer within the boundary. How to do? I use these three equations, these equations. So in real case, we had to find out L maxima and M maxima and R maxima. We had to find these three numbers. And then according to these three equations to do the transform and that this figure, this uh, triangular number uh, within mood within the boundary by means of these three equations. Yeah. So this is, this one is generic equations, generic, here, here, generic equations. And here I design a numerical example to do, to do the, uh, uh, the method. So this is the numeric example. Yeah, and then integrate again. Uh, so each criterion, we multiply by their uh, weights. Uh, so the S plus integrate matrix here. And finally, the final, final integrated decision making, decision making matrix is this one. So these equations uh, are the generic equations. So the fourth section, we designed the empirical example to uh, explain the uh, fuzzy in Imperial. 
And here, finally, I had to uh, defage. How to do the defage? I use these equations. Of course, there are many defage methods, but I use the complicated defage method in here. We say must mean defage method. This equation, I use this question to do the defage. But after the defage defage equation, uh, we get the real uh, risk uh, number. The real number. Uh, here is the uh, empirical example. Sorry, can I explain uh, too clear? So here, I said the uh, Shirida. The third generation method is fuzzy preference relations. I say uh, three equations. This one, this one, Shirida. They use this equation and this equation and this equation. Suppose suppose the numbers uh, over the boundary Shirida, they use this equation to uh, trans transform within the boundary the Shirida use this equation to do but i use what I use these equations. Okay, so here I use a simple equation to do. This one, simple equation to do the uh, transfer, but I use the three equations. Okay, sorry. I cannot uh, present well, okay? Okay, Chairman, I- Explain more about this methodology and he also make a planning uh, to going to Indonesia because now he teach in Vietnam too about this methodology. So he relation with Abdopi. So when Professor Wang going to Indonesia, he could uh, visit the university or a polytechnic in Indonesia. So it will be uh, have a time for us for learn more about the methodology. Yeah. Perhaps it's like one or two day uh, workshop, so we can use. And Professor Wang, actually there is a one question from Ms. Titiwijayati. She asking that it seems like uh, just for the engineering, can we apply this fuzzy concept, uh, this fuzzy concept in social life or social science? for um, research. That's the question, Professor Wang from Institute JIT. Yes, yeah. there is a question from Ms. Uh, Titiwi Jayati. Can we apply yeah. this fuzzy concept in social life or uh, social science? So uh, see, it seems like just for engineering, something like that. 
Yes. Okay. Sir. Okay. Okay. No problem. Just I say, um, this paper contains a lot of equations. So up to now, uh, even this paper published uh, around one year, but very few people cited this paper because it's too complicated. So suppose uh, somebody want to learn, I think uh, probably morning three days, can understand a little. Uh, just a 20 minutes presentation, I think nobody knows the, the method. So suppose you, uh, you create a, a method, a simple one, uh, such as the HP, and everybody can use it because it's simple. It's simple. Even it contains a lot of shortcomings, but it's simple. So the simple method can be uh, po uh, popular, can be uh, distributed well, but a uh, complicated method uh, cannot be uh, uh, distributed well. Yeah. So if somebody want to learn, I can buy a ticket to your country, your university, uh, and take a uh, uh, three days, uh, three days course at least. Okay. Okay, thank you, Professor, for the oh. answer. Is there any question from others? You can just open your mic or you can just type the question. Yeah. While waiting for the other. Ms. Titi just said thank you, Professor Wong. So Ms. Titi is uh, Vice Director in the Polytechnic Negeri Tanah Laut. Maybe Ms. Titi could arrange the time uh, for Professor Wong because he have a plan to going to Indonesia. And actually it's not only about the uh, fuzzy logic. He also can uh, teach us uh, many, many methodology because uh, I was learned also uh, one of methodology calls uh, gray forecasting from him. So it is a good opportunity for us to learn more about the methodology and publish in a top tier journal. Well, for other, maybe if you have any other question, you can ask Professor Wang of the chief editor in the one journal. So maybe if you have your article, want to publish with him, it will really open. Please, if you have any question. Um, trust me, when we know about this art, uh, this methodology, we can publish, we can create more um, articles in any subject, not only for engineering, but also for social science, for example, now I learned from him also, from Professor Wang. I tried to use this methodology for supply chain management. So it will really help uh, to make a decision making. Or maybe for other, if you have any concern, so you can use that methodology. Well, Professor Wang, anything you want to add the information or everything, please? Uh... Because the fuzzy in the, the umbrella, uh, today I just want to promote this method. Uh, uh, promote this method more than introduce this uh, uh, method. I just promote it. Suppose uh, many people use my new method. I think uh, the uh, uh, researchers can understand well. Yeah, so of course, the other five methods you want to know, I can uh, prepare some materials to present for you. Yeah, because this today, this method too difficult, too difficult. 
and the the rest why methods uh, you want to know i can uh, introduce uh, everybody okay okay thank you professor for that statement so we just waiting for the time maybe uh, dr lia and miss nina or abdofi if uh, we have a uh, a good schedule and time so we can visit because Professor Wang uh, really want to go to Indonesia, especially to Java and Kalimantan to visit some campus and we can uh, learn more about the methodology and everything about publication and writing skills and everything. Okay, so if there is no other question, uh, Professor Wang could uh, you send the article so maybe we the the committee will also give uh, to others and also your powerpoint so we can share to everyone and before i'm giving back the session to uh, master of ceremony i have a new, new journal, journal that, that you, you want to share to everyone what you like uh, mention about that's the topic you will accept or everything the the journal you said the uh, pointers science management sorry yeah uh, so please say again please Yes, uh, because you have a make a new journal called uh, Frontier Science Management. So maybe you can also um, introduce that journal so everybody can uh, submit their article to uh, your journal. Oh, okay. So I I created a new journal. Its name is Frontier Frontier Management Science. Management science is a new open access journal. Um, uh, what is management science? That uh, contest management and finance, accounting, and everything. Uh, beside the electronic chemical, you, this paper you cannot submit. <laughs> Our 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 journal, uh, so just management field. You can submit this new journal, uh, and good paper, excellent paper. You submit our journal, and this journal will be will be very famous. Such as you know, a journal name is expert with application systems. <clears throat> uh, around 20 years ago, this journal, <clears throat> you submit your paper and the journal uh, accept your paper within three weeks, very easy. But today, the submit to the journal is difficult to be accepted because it become a uh, famous journal. And the second case is a journal name is Re Journal of Retailing. Around 30 years ago, this journal, you submit it, you can be, uh, your paper can be accepted easily. But now the journal become a SSCI. Your journal, your your papers, cannot be accepted easily because it's SSCI journal is same level with the journal of marketing, journal of marketing research. It's a difficult, difficult one. So today, this uh, new journal, your paper, you can support. You can submit. Uh, our journal, and I believe 
uh, maybe two years later, this journal will become the EI Engineer Index Journal. And then some days, uh, some years later, this journal become a SCI journal. So your good paper, your excellent paper, please submit uh, Frontier Management Science Journal, okay? Thank you so much, Professor Wang, for your time, for your uh, knowledge uh, to share with us. Hopefully, we can learn more from you and we can get uh, more information about uh, any methodology that you have, you know. Thank you so much. And I am giving back to Mr. Dustin Loreno. Thank you. First, the certificate of our first keynote speaker, Mr. Gali. Can you please flash it in the screen? And may I read to you the citation Certificate of Appreciation awarded to Professor Tian Chen Wang, PhD, for contributing as the keynote speaker, the academic seminar and international conference, 5th ASIC 2024 with the theme Innovation in Vocational Education to Enhance the Global Competitiveness, given this 24th to 25th of February 2024, signed by Dr. Phil Patahul Arifin, STM in CS, and Dr. Arman Fasli, STMD. Thank you very much. Next, may I call on our second moderator, 